Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. Today I'm doing a collaboration called Marching In with Casseroles for the month of March. So I'm doing this collaboration with Greg's Kitchen and a bunch of other channels, uh, which I'll go through and mention here quickly. But the focus is every day is going to be a different casserole for Marching In with Casseroles. At the end of this um, collaboration, on March 31st, will be a drawing for the winner of the Crock-Pot Digital Stainless Steel Casserole uh, Slow Cooker. So watch all the channels, comment for your chance to be entered to be uh, drawn as a winner for once again the Crock-Pot Digital Stainless Steel Casserole Slow Cooker. The other channels that are uh, involved in this, go back and watch uh, March 1st on Greg's Kitchen. Uh, introduction to Marching In with the Casseroles 2022. And then the other channels that are participating are Mama Vera, Pepper, Prepper Potpourri, Jenny Go, Whipple Whirl Holler, um, Mennonite Farmhouse, In the Kitchen with Karen, Freedom Homestead, Living the Good Life with Gammy Nay Nay, uh, Threshold Homestead, Apron Strings, and then you have the drawing at the end. Some some channels have more than one uh, entry this week, this month for the doing the casseroles. So what casserole am I doing for you today? I'm doing a mushroom onion casserole. This is like a really great casserole to do with steaks uh, or, or nice meat like that. Just really complements that kind of stuff well. But I had mushrooms to use up and some onions so we're going to do a mushroom casserole and I'm going to show you a hack for making heavy heavy whipping cream if you don't have any on hand. So let's get to it. So here's what goes into it. Uh, roughly two pounds of mushrooms and then I have one onion uh, sliced up there, a uh, teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of parsley flakes, um, chili powder or paprika. I have some harissa paste for some zing, uh, three quarters of a cup of butter divided, one egg yolk, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and a sleeve of um, butter crackers or like Ritz crackers. Then for the um, heavy whipping cream substitute over here is three quarters cup of milk and a quarter cup of butter that will be melted and I'm going to show you how we'll make that into the heavy whipping cream to add into our dish. So the first thing we're going to do is cook down our uh, mushrooms and onions and butter. That's why the butter is divided into three parts there. Do it about a third at a time get all the moisture out as we cook this down. Just in case you're wondering, since some of you ask about my cookware, this is the enameled cast iron, blue enameled cast iron cookware from Pampered Chef, which is actually made for Pampered Chef by Lodge in Tennessee, so it's USA made. And contrary to what some people think, to me that matters. As these get done, I'm going to transfer these to another bowl, although the final product will go in this casserole to go in the oven. I'm just going to finish up here doing the other uh, batches here of mushrooms and onions. And the last batch of mushrooms and onions are ready to be pulled out and we're ready to work on our sauce. So a substitute for heavy whipping cream is three quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of melted, not hot, but melted um, butter and we start just bringing that in slowly and incorporating it.
Uh, it takes a couple of minutes to get it to come up like that. You'll have a little bit of milk left here, but the rest is whoopty creamy, heavy whipping cream. So we'll uh, get here adding the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to add in my egg yolk, parsley, lemon juice, um, salt, chili powder. Like I said, you can use um, paprika or other certain chilies. A little bit of harissa, give it some zing. Man, does it smell good. Then we're going to add our mushrooms. And I have my sleeve of crushed bits or butter crackers. I'm going to add into the mixture. Okay, I'm going to transfer that to the casserole. Now, Sometimes they, they, the original recipe tells you to chill overnight and then bake it 30, uh, 30 minutes before you're ready to serve. Um, I don't always wait. I'm not waiting today. I'm putting this in my oven, which is preheated 350 degrees. And uh, we're going to let it go for there for 30 minutes. And it's out of the oven. You know what comes next. It's done. So, there's what it looks like. And of course, because I said it goes really good with steak, I had to make myself a steak. This is one of those dishes that doesn't look very impressive in the dish. At least I don't think it does. But I'm just going to tell you that on flavor, it really delivers. Mmm. Rich and creamy, buttery with the crackers and some crunch with the crackers. It's really good. And um, add that with a piece of steak. Oh my god. So good. If you let it sit overnight and chill, the flavors go through it even more. So it does make it better, but it's fine this way too. It's just as it's just as delicious. It's like soups and other things like that that you let set overnight and flavors go through it more. Really delicious. But it ain't bad like this. Really yummy. That's my mushroom casserole for marching into casseroles uh, collab. Check out the other channel. I'll list them in the description below along with the recipe like I always do. And uh, give it a shot. I had mushrooms to use up that I didn't want to go to waste and this was an amazing use for them. So uh, like I said, give it a shot. Check out the other channels. Make sure you comment on their videos so you can be entered to win that crock pot slow cooker. At the end of the month on the 31st, you're watching Greg's channel. Greg's Kitchen uh, to be able to have a chance at winning that crock pot. So, mushroom casserole, marching into casseroles.